You're listening to The Swingdom, the champion podcast of the year. Two guys, 28 clubs, zero putts given, with your hosts, Ben Ridner and Gunnar Kane. <laughs> Not even participating. Oh, I'm so mad. That was like an hour of good banter and it's just gone out the window. Uh, we have lost, we recorded, and, and we have minutes. lost, we've lost 40 minutes of recording. So what we're going to do is we're going to- You gonna know what? Can we just say like, we've recorded 55 episodes and that's the first time that's happened? That is the first time. Thank God. Yeah. I think what we're going to do is we'll blow through the news. We'll- We'll make the read way shorter than we did last time. Super short read. And then we'll give our picks. Are you ready for the news? Go. So Brooks Kepka is out of the USGA championship. Yes, withdrew for foot and hip injury. <laughs> Screw it. Who cares? I, I called him a man child. I just think like he's not like a bad boy. He's not like he's like you're if you brought him home, they'd be like, Oh, he's so sweet. And then he'd like come downstairs with a mohawk and a mustache. They'd be like, ah, that's so funny. And then he goes shave it off and pour Michelob Ultra all over his face <laughs> while jumping off the boat. Like, that's, yeah, that's Brooks Kepka in a nutshell. Jesus. It's the start of the ANA championship. Yeah. Uh, no, well, Sophia yeah. Popov. Stupid. LPGA, get yourselves together. So Brooks and is still a lower body injury, still not saying what it is. Still not saying what it is. It's like, I, I was quite weird. He's like, he's like, if I hit it right, it's fine. I know how to hit it. I can hit it, but I can't hit it. That's his excuse right now. Drives me nuts. That's right. And the final bit of news is the uh, player of the year, instead of Dustin Johnson, goes to Justin Thomas. We had about 20 minutes of that. Can we do at least Dustin, You give me five minutes on why Dustin Johnson, because I agree – should be the player of the year. Okay, number one, like, I, like Justin Thomas wasn't even on my radar. Because, like, you have to think about it. The only two major, like, the three biggest events this year was Thursday at the Players. Mm -hmm. You had a PGA Championship, and then you had the Tour Championship, where you went from video game golf to, yeah. like, USGA Championship, championship style golf. Right. To the tour championship, which was like definitely somewhere in the middle, definitely fair golf. And mm -hmm. he went first place, second place, first place, which means he can play golf anywhere. He's at the peak of his game. 14, like 20 plus million in the bank this year, like even in a small year, like, yes, I understand he had two eighties and a 78 and withdrew, mm -hmm. but I think that just like says it all. Because he could, he could Mark Leishman it up and just, like, struck out on 80s for the year. So even with a win, a, a second place and a win, he still had another win earlier in the season. He mm -hmm. crushed it. Um, Colin Morikawa had a win and had a PGA championship mm -hmm. and was, like, crushing it in the top 10 for quite a while. Mm -hmm. I thought he was ahead of Justin Thomas. And then Justin Thomas wasn't on my radar because – the Tournament of Champions is, like, a good reason for all the best golfers to go. It's like the Masters of Hawaii on, like, a super playable course that they do video game numbers on if they feel like it. Because usually they're, like, at the buffet or, like, on a kayak mm -hmm. or, like, drunk in a hot tub somewhere. Fair enough? And then he won something in October. <clears throat> um, the CJ Cup? Yes. Where do they play that? Nine Bridges. Oh, okay. So Nine Bridges, like good golf course, but nothing between like nothing between the Tour Championship and the players is is like people take those weeks off. Yeah. Like people talk about getting their game back and ready for the players. Mm -hmm. People talk about gearing up for like they peak for the. The majors, including the players, and they peak for the tour championship. And mm. like Morikawa and DJ did that. And Dustin Johnson, yes, won a WGC, a very, very hard WGC. Like yep. just not just not my just not my bag of butter. Um, 
That's not even a real saying. I have no idea. It's not. You made that up. Yep. Um, One last bit of news I forgot to mention the first time around. Thank God we messed up. Yep. The USGA is building a $50 million facility at Pinehurst. Oh, I did hear about this. They're going to have 50 tour pros at Pinehurst. Isn't it called like the golf club or something? They're turning it into like basically the mecca of like, it's already the cradle of American golf. They're now turning it into like the holy land of American golf. Um, To be fair, like I, I saw it on a bunch of golf websites. Mm -hmm. I did not see it on the PGA news. I didn't see it in any of the PGA's news because obviously like, they don't want the USGA spending $50 million at a facility they frequently use right. as a major championship. But basically what they've done is they've promised Pinehurst number two to have the, like to have the USG champ, the USGA champion, the U S open. There you go. It's Much better. Not open. It's an invitational this year. Can it's I just this year. You still have to call it an open. Can I still, can I just call, if I, I will, I'll stop calling it the USGA championship. The U S the, the, the open was canceled. Are you going to make fun of that? Well, they did that on purpose. Well, they did this on purpose. No, I no. just think, no. I just think you're being, you're being vindictive to the no. USGA. Okay, so would you rather because me call you're it, not in America? Would you rather me call it this year, the USGA championship or the U S invitational? Call it the U S invitational. Okay. The it's US- ours. Stop giving it to the USGA. It's ours the american uh, people's open if it was up to me <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't want me like for number one day one i would put every pin in the middle of i'd be like easy pin everybody goes i want 659s no that's terrible that's why that's why you just talk about golf and you don't number one I, i'd make it a par 70 no terrible maybe Come even on. a par 69 stop talking about this i hate you right okay now. par 69 no, i don't like this then no. Then what I would do is I would leave the rough really long the first three days and yeah. give it easy holes. And then I would cut the rough down so everything's fairway. And I would put the holes like in the middle of the ridge. Like just like an eighth of a pace off the fringe. No, no, no. Like a ridge. Like I'd be like, where's the ridge on this hole? Like on a false front. And like, if you don't hit it, like put it fall, in the it's rolling front. all the way back down. Like it rolls up and it rolls down and it rolls up dig it. and it rolls down. You know what I mean? Like, all right. There's no stopping it near the hole. No. All right. You, would, all the news? you would watch that though. I would watch that. Is that all the news? If it was like eight inch fescue for the first three days. On day one, the holes will be 15 inches wide. Yeah. On day two, they'll be eight inches wide. Oh, okay. On day three, they'll be the four and a, and a quarter, four and a half, four and a quarter inches wide. And you do those two inch holes. No, no, no. And then day four, like I'm saying, like it's it's going to be on like a you know, 45 degree slope. All right. So you're playing ski ball. I dig it. <laughs> do it that All right. way. All right. Uh, oh yeah, and I know the it, but I want to give this. I want to give. It is the ANA Invitational. Yeah, I already. Pia Popoff's not in it. Last year's winner's not in it. Yeah. Give right. Mrs. Popoff a shot. That's right. That's not a. That's not a Do double. That. You get it, Popoff, because that's a, that's a liquor. It's oh, a yeah. vodka. I don't know. Have I got how far I'm off the rails have I gone? gone? Pretty far, because I I'm since we're fifty minutes into a five minute podcast. I am way out of time. (laughs) It's time for us to put down our bag and hear from our sponsors. Hey, guys. All right. If you need your hearing hearing checked, call 732-888-9000. Yeah, Ben does. Who's ben needs to call 732-889-9000. I can hear somebody. Uh, get your hearing checked for zero dollars and zero cents, uh, zero pounds and zero quid and all the other zero yen Ooh, and easy. zero. Everything zero. Zero. Two easy payments. 
zero. And how? Uh, seven three two eight 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 nine thousand. I'm getting there. I promise. <laughs> Beltone Hearing Aid Centers of, of New Jersey. Also, check out, check us out on the Hot Mic app. That is also free. We're just giving away free stuff on this podcast. Uh, use the invite code GOLF, G-O-L-F. Come hang out and have watch parties with all your favorite people and enjoy the sports you love. And go to, to Virgin Money Giving slash 100 miles, 100 holes. That's 100 M I L E S 100 H O L E S. Check us out on the social media platforms. Hashtag 100 miles, 100 holes. Watch Ben, Cousin Adam, and Sound Man Dan uh, traverse, I need a good word, Hadrian's Wall, and play a ton of golf all on social media. Get us out of here, Ben. We're going and, to the um, Safeway Open. We will be doing, since we're coming up to 2,000 subscribers on Instagram and almost 200 subscribers on YouTube, true. we'll be doing a giveaway soon of Vice Golf Balls with the uh, charity logo printed on them. Sorry, it's all new. I think I, I didn't really... And now to your hosts, Ben Ridner at Gunner Kane. <laughs> I'm not... We're so my- on brand. All right. I am in. You, I forgot, we forgot not, to mention this. I am in Ireland. Oh, oh yeah, you're in Ireland. That's in why Ireland. this is all going so I'm terribly. <laughs> upholstery on it. I'm not going to get the art again. I'm not getting art. But this <laughs> is. Did. Ben, oh, well. ben brought down art for all to see on this podcast. Yeah, which was just you and me because we weren't recording. <laughs> I could be sitting in those chairs. All right. All right. Those are Irish chairs. Yeah. Very Irish. All right. Safeway Open in Silverado Resort and Spa, the North Course, Napa, California. About dang time they played a par 72 golf course, 7,166 yards. Your defending champ, pun intended, is Cameron Champ. And we're excited. I do not like the, as I said before, before we lost all this, I do not like wraparound seasons. Um, let's just take two weeks off after the tour championship, regroup, start again. Please. Oh, do you like Especially when the tour championship – huh? I said just do, just do like four events before the players. Just take up March. At least don't end the tour championship on a Monday and then start the next season on a Thursday. Because like I'm gonna be Ridiculous. I'm gonna be a little dis- I'm gonna be a little disgruntled at the moment. Yeah. It feels like the G League. It does feel like the G League. Like why is Phil Phil Mickelson is the favorite to win? Sure. He, no, he's like the he's the Vegas odds to like to win. Oh, is he? Yeah. Um, and then it's like every great college golfer you've heard of over the last seven years. Mm-hmm. Or guys I'm who with won you. 10 years ago. That's right. So. Um, yeah. Or guys, or guys who are using, who didn't make it through the, the playoffs and need this to warm up for the U.S. Open. Right. Um, you ready to get into some picks? I think so. Do you remember who I picked? I do remember who you picked. Sorry, I'm just seeing if... Oh, sorry. Yeah, let me put it this way. Where is this? It's not... Oh, here. I'm like, I'm like why isn't this a thing? So, yeah. So, they've got, they've got the Safeway Open... Brendan Steele, oh, I guess because it's we're already a day late, so I guess they changed all the odds. My apologies. That's all right. We got for picks. All right, so I am picking. Do we want to go back and forth, or you just want me to tell you your picks? You want to tell me your picks? I will tell you my picks. Yes. I picked Harold Varner the third. Yep. I picked Shane Lowry. Yeah. 
And dang, the man nobody ever seems to remember, but is always shocked he's up at the top. Red. Doc Redman. The last four tournaments for sure. But he was Doc all- Redman is my man. All right. He's like a diamond in the rough. Yeah. I I like I went through this. Uh-huh. I like I I did this. These are nostalgia picks. Sure. Like, when I sent these to you, you were like, these guys have no chance. Like, Ben's just feeling nostalgic. That's exactly what I said. You were like, Ben is sat on his couch, wishing it was 2016 all over again. (laughs) Wearing (laughs) these Air Jordans. That's right. Yeah, I thought thought you were going to pick Phil without a doubt. I thought you were absolutely going to pick Phil, so I didn't pick Phil. No, I stayed off of Phil. Which I was surprised by. Um, <clears throat> so I went with nostalgic. You want me to tell you your picks? <laughs> nostalgic, I went with Brant Snedeker. Yep. Again, hasn't played. Who a- is still. <clears throat> no, and still has me blocked on Twitter. Good. Fix this. Extra pick. Just, he gets picked up. <laughs> My prop bet is he unblocks from Twitter after listening to us. Not a chance. Um, He's never going to unblock me. You should have seen what I wrote. But I did. So, like, there was, like, like I wanted to pick Bo Hosler because I was like, oh, he was so good at, at University of Texas. Uh-huh. Um, I wanted to pick Bo Hoge? Hoagie? Hogue? Bo Hog. Because he did well for me in the alternate event. Like, yeah. Um, who else? I was like, I, I, I almost put Kevin Struelman. I think you should have. Yeah, I probably should have. Um, no, so yeah. So then I, I went, I went wearing my Air Jordans on my couch, two thousand circa 2012, 2011. I picked Keegan Bradley. That's right. You sure I did, did not make good picks. I think after I think you before, may last have. Year, I was sort of like, I mean, last week. Last year, you mean three days ago? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, it's last year. Um, last golf year. Yeah, and then I got nostalgic, 2015 to 2017 Jordan Spieth. I was wearing my my Under Armour shirt. Uh, <laughs> international code <laughs> international code for gunner stop touching your microphone yeah um all right so you have brant snedeker yes keegan bradley and Ned jordan spieth keegs spieth sneds keegs spieth <laughs> <laughs> yeah i told you like, I, I have I harold barner the third you just got nostalgic. I've got <laughs> Harold Varner the third. Yeah. Shane Lowry. Shane Lowry, yeah. And Doc Redman. And I get I'm, it. Doc I'm, Redman, I feel Doc, good about this. Last five tournaments did really well. Shane Lowry, last year's British Open, the Open champion winner. And Harold Varner the third has been, I don't want to say on fire, but he has Killing been it. around in very prominent opportunities over the last few months. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All yeah. right. What's your long shot? My long shot is, is I like so. This is I know Mug Dad's gonna come after me for this, but my long shot is the favorite wins. Phil Mickelson coming it's still off. Long. I you know, I'll let you have it. Coming nah, off hot on a coming off hot the seniors tour is is feeling hyped. I believe the the kids say feeling mm-hmm. himself. He's feeling himself. Yeah. Hitting bombs. So I have him to win. And that was sort of like a double bet. I think I've done this a few times where it's like, if you picked Phil and he won, at least I still get 250. (laughs) That's right. Well, well, you double bet on your prop, didn't you? I what? You double bet on your prop 
as well. Why don't you go ahead and tell me your prop bet? Yeah, let me tell you. Tell me your prop bet, and I'll tell you how you double bet. You actually like quintuple bet on your prop bet. Oh yeah, my prop bet is is shameless. <laughs> it is a shameless prop my bet. Prop bet is abs. Well, because I'm looking through it, and I'm like, this kid has either come out of college in the last like six months, or it's like, or it's mm-hmm. somebody who sh- is. Hasn't been prominent on tour, but should be go like is still holding on because of exemptions. Uh huh. So yeah, so this wasn't fair. I picked a past major winner wins the event. Yes, funny enough, you've also picked Phil Mickelson to win, who's a major winner, <laughs> and Keegan Bradley and Jordan Spieth are also major winners. So interesting. Sneds, I believe Sneds has a PGA, but I'm not sure. I know he's got the FedEx. Um, all right. Major. That was to be fair. When I made when I uh, made the prop bet and I made the uh, the long shot, I was like, let's let's see how giving Gunner is now. Right. So he has won. Uh, he won the FedEx Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't believe he's won a major. Yeah. So if he wins, I don't win the prop bet. He's never won a major, no. Yeah. Right. That's the only person. Yeah. All right. My long shot is your boy, Jordan Spieth, misses the cut at the inaugural event of the 2021 season. Yeah. And my prop bet is nobody and this is a true prop bet for all of those who are sitting there nodding your heads with with ben's prop bet himself is uh nobody finishes below the cut line at the end of the week so let's say the cut line is two under oh, okay nobody finishes worse than two under you want to know my prop bet was really good so be- that's a prop bet what was your prop bet? Uh, Jordan Speed has gotten hair plugs in the time off. <laughs> I should have said. <laughs> so they just go taking his hat off. To I would have agreed. And you're like, you did not have hair. You didn't. You have hair now. <laughs> now you have hair. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What is your low round of the week can i ask you one question first no looking can i ask you one question you can't first? look at the scores can i ask you one question first yes this yeah. feels like uh-huh an opposite field tournament event event yeah it does like <clears throat> it feels like i'm like i'm like so where's the i not and to be a complete and total like not very nice person about it. I was looking at it and I was mm-hmm. like, where is everybody? Like, why wouldn't you, like, why wouldn't you want to play mm-hmm. in the first event? Make your mark on the first event of the new season. And then take three like, week, three, four weeks off. I was like, I was like, oh, that's right. Cause three days ago it was over. Right. That's right. It feels like an opposite field money grab. Yep. But, you know, these players haven't played in any of the playoff events. So, no, so I mean, except for Spieth, but. Yeah. All right. What's your low round? Par is 72. Mm-hmm. 63. Minus nine. And you haven't looked at any scores? No. All right. Mine is eight under. Good. Have you looked at any scores? <laughs> yeah, but I wrote mine down three two days ago. Oh, okay. I'll just tell you as we speak, Russell Knox <laughs> is sitting in first place at nine under par. Okay. Uh, the thing is, so, I always like 
when it's a 72 hole event and it's not video, like there's like, I just go nine under. Cause I'm like, I'm like, I, that's fair. Mentality. I thought it would be eight. I thought like, I just think, of, I thought it was going to be easier. Johnny Miller. Yeah. who's just like 63 is the real number. Don't even talk about Johnny Miller right now. I think somebody's going to. All right. So if nine under. Yeah. If nine under is your low round, what's your winning score? Well, I got to take off my shoes. I've got to count my toes. Now, um, since we both know now that the opening round is nine under, I am going to say 23. Michael Jordan, Air Jordan, 23. Keegan Bradley, 23. Make it happen. I can see that now that I know, but what I wrote down, and I still don't question it, though. I'm, you know, I'm still not – I don't feel sw- – uh, persuaded either way. Uh, I wrote down 16 under as the total. No, see, I wrote down 16 under as the total because I thought one day would be really, or somebody would come off firing hot and then fall apart. So I think this is just going to be, uh, everybody's had too much time off. They, there'll be, some people will flash here and there, but all in all, it ends at 16 under. Yeah. I mean, my big thing is just sort of like, it's not like this sets the tone for the season. It's not like this, like, you've got the U.S. GA (laughs) champion. You've got the the U.S. Invitational. Mm -hmm. And, like, this, this is an alternate week event. Right. Like, it's an alternate week event. And so I don't really... Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not in love with any of my picks. I'm not in love with any of my numbers. Like I just like mm-hmm. let's let's talk about wings foot. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, so no. So better question then. Let's let's sort of let's get off of this quickly so that we can get out of the pod quickly because I know we've been doing this for like two hours now. Yeah. How do you feel, like, how do you normally feel about events like October through the beginning of March? So I like golf, right? Which is a really bland statement. I like to watch golf. I like golf. I like following golf. I wouldn't be doing this podcast if I didn't. So I I don't take them with the same weight as I do um, the later year events. Yeah. But... I still find the Safeway Open victory just as reputable as uh, Barracuda? the Barracuda Championship. No, because that's a that's an off event. But but what I but even the Barracuda Championship, I can't win that no, right now. I'm not, but I'm not now saying, the I'm problem not is is when we compare the off events to the main events. Yeah, then we kind of act like well it's a bunch of amateurs out there and so when in reality it's like that's the sense you end up giving off when in reality it's no i mean the barracuda championship is still an important win in your career but it's only like it's half the money it's half the exemption time and it's half of a real pga tour field yeah but i mean are you ben sitting on a couch in ireland up for any sort of PGA tour exemption. No, because you're not good enough to play. You're not, you're just not. I'm not, I'm sitting. Huh? That hurts. Don't it doesn't hurt. What I'm saying is we do this with sports where we say so and so. I, I do this with uh American football all the time, or we do this with basketball all the time. Oh, they're a lousy shooter. They would mop the floor with us, and they could be the worst player in the NBA. And they're a billion times better at basketball than we are. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm saying, saying that's how it, I'm saying, and yeah. this, this is, this, me and you, this is the argument I hate the most, which is you're not a good enough to be a pro golfer. But what I am good enough at uh-huh. is sitting on my behind 
<laughs> and watching it on television. No, you are. And I don't want you. I'm not it's saying I'm that. I'm saying that the product is diminished. It is. That's where, that's, that's where I agree. The reason I went off like that, went off on that tangent is because I, it, it is a struggle not to make saying that that's a diminished product yeah not sound like those guys suck that's why they're in that event it's if they did like to come off like that if they did a podcasters masters right uh-huh and all the golf podcasters that had however many listeners and were doing great like we are um went to augusta uh-huh right and say they can only, like, say, like, you know, it's like, I'd say I'm running the show. I've set this up. You've set it up. Yep. And what I've done is I've gotten the top 20 in the OWGR right. to play as well. Like, we're shooting in the 90s. We're shooting in the 100s. They're breaking par. Right. Right? Is that going to stop me from going out and playing? No, absolutely no. not. Like, I don't look at my golf game and say it's good enough. But, like, right. I don't. I don't play the same courses. I don't have the same equipment. I certainly don't have a trainer once a day. Like I, that's like. Well, and, no. they, and I apologize if that came out wrong. Like I just when you I ask me that sort of question, I still appreciate the product. Absolutely. When I when you ask me that, that sort of question, I have a hard time answering it because I don't want to sound like Jordan. Spe this is a diminished event, which I no. agree with. No. But I can't sit here and also – that puts me at risk of saying Harold Varner, Sergio Garcia, Shane Lowry, Jordan Spieth, uh, Ches Reeve, Keegan Bradley, Denny McCarthy. The, these guys aren't worth watching because the product no, sucks. No, they're worth watching. Let me put it this way. They're the product. So I love it just the same. 90% of the guys you just said mm -hmm. are on the way down. That's fine. They're trying to hold on. 10% of those guys are on the way up. What, right. this, like, what this tournament reminds me of, and I'm not saying it's not important for them. I, it's very important for them. You mm -hmm. get your money when you can if you're a professional athlete. I am with that 100%. Like when people you are like- You play in these events if you're on the way down in your career, you play in as many of these kinds of events as you can. When you're Gronkowski, you go to the WWE. You're darn right. They're writing you a check to get fake punched in the face? Like, if it's got enough zeros, really punch me in the face. Yeah, really, really hit me. As you guys all know, I have a very, very punchable face. <laughs> Everybody knows that. I think, I think I do, too. That's why I hide behind a microphone. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, it's not that it's, it's bad. I don't think it's bad golf. Um, I do. I think it's the best golf. No, right. I don't think it's the best golf. It's and definitely not the best TV product. No, it, it diminishes the product, and um, it feels like a money grab. And it were like so. The best analogy I can have mm -hmm. is that this is like it's spring season. This is golf for the diehards. Yes, because you want to see your favorites of the last ten years. Mm -hmm. And you want to see who's coming up next. It's almost like you're having, like it's 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 spring. Like the best analogy I, I was, I'm sorry, I was saying is this is spring training, right? Like you want to see if the old guys still have it, and you want to see if the up and comers can actually take their spot. Yeah. Like you don't go to a spring training game. Sorry, that's American baseball, um, or preseason games for American football. Yeah, like you don't you don't go to those games to watch good defense. Right. Unless there's like a stud linebacker. You just go to, you, you watch to watch. Yeah, you know, Or if there's like a stud pitcher, mm -hmm. but like you're like, you're sitting on the grass in Arizona trying to catch one of the 25 home runs. That's right. Like, and that's all I mean, for fun. Like, I hope they set up the holes. I hope it's video game golf. Like, I hope these guys, I hope there's like, I hope there's 17 hole in ones this weekend. I'm with you. But I think they shouldn't call it the Safeway Open then. I think they should, I mean, I think they should, I think they should just have like a golf preseason where the Corn Ferry Tour 
the PGA Tour and like the guys holding on to exemption all can blur and show up when they want to. Yeah. And that's, ba- I mean, that's basically what happens with the, ex- with the exception of this year where you've got two majors in it. Yeah. So like, I'm really, so I was really surprised there weren't more big names in this, but the other side of me is going to be by Monday when we do the next podcast, how mm-hmm. many practice rounds at winged foot are we going to hear about? A ton. A ton. Yep. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, sorry about that. I appreciate you. I don't say that you suck. No. The pros say we suck. No. The thing is, I think every now and then we need to like take a step back and just like, like look at golf as if it's a big, beautiful painting. You don't want to look at the brush strokes. You know who does a really good job with this, if I can sidebar, is Michael Kornheiser of the Tony Kornheiser show. You yeah. remember talking to him? He, he was, I, the way he talks about like course design. I'm going to send artistic. him an email this week. So I want to plug the, it was two episodes. It was the, it was the Tony Kornheiser show episode after the um, uh, PGA, the tour championship. Wall walk. No, no, no. Oh, so you don't want to hear any of this? Fine, you can spoiler. Just say spoiler alert so I know what's spoiler happening. Spoiler alert. <laughs> the 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 total bemoaning of the tour championship that I had, he said verbatim. All the exact same reasons. Ah. Thank you. Can you tell him Thank about you, my Mr. idea? Manager. No, I didn't. I didn't tell him. He had the same idea, which means we're pretty good at this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think we're pretty good at this. I've got company coming. All right. I apologize for not recording the first 45 minutes. Don't spoil that yourself. I already said we lost the recording. Oh, sorry. By lost, yeah. It... <laughs> By didn't, I mean Ooh. lost. <laughs> um, I keep looking up in the corner to be like, is it still recording? Good. Um, we will have another podcast for you guys on Monday. Enjoy watching the Safeway Open. Um, yes. I'm gonna tr- I probably won't be able to do any hot mics this weekend. Are you going to be able to do any hot mics? I don't know. I'll try my best. I'm not, School I'm not getting, just started today. Uh, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting back till sometime in the near future. Right. So, All right. We got to figure out. Or, we've got to figure out stuff. I don't want to get into it. Um, figure out stuff. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, we're we're in Ireland shopping for a horse. There you go. We'll Does get Abby into want it one? on Monday? Huh? Does Abby want a horse? No. They got good yes. deals here. Yes, but no. Can I just mail you one? If you can nail a horse short on your dime, I will gladly take a free horse. And then I will drive to your house with it and stable it there. Okay. All right. We'll consider that as an option. In Virginia. In Virginia. Okay. <laughs> drive to England. I'm not driving to England. I'm going to drive up to Rixieville and stable it at your place. I'm going to put a bunch of paddles on my wheels of the good old Taurus. <laughs> 3,000 miles in the ocean. It ain't that hard. Ain't that hard. All right, get us out of here. All right, thank you guys for listening to The Swing Them. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter. Check out the YouTube videos will be coming out. I've got this new computer so that I can work on videos while I'm here in Ireland. Um, UK.VirginMoneyGiving.com slash 100 miles, 100 holes. I'd like to thank Rowcroft Hospice, who we're supporting, the Golf Foundation, who we're supporting. Um, I, I'll try to do this in order. Silith on Solway, thank you, Alan, for helping us play golf there. Um, Stony Home Golf Course, thank you very much for letting us play golf there. We will mm-hmm. be playing golf at Eden. Um, halt Whistle, thank you so much. Matt Fenn Hall, we'll be playing amazing golf there. Thank you, Close House, for letting us play your beautiful course. We'll be playing a Centurion course at Wall's End as well. So 100 Very miles, cool. 100 holes. Feel free to support us. All of it's going to charity. Um, and we will be figuring out the Vice golf ball giveaway because I'm, I'm – Yeah. I got – they're – I don't think they're sponsoring us. But they gave us, they gave us a break. And we are forever grateful to anybody who's going to help us out on this journey. So there we go. we're going to give a box away from them. We're going to save vice golf balls a million times. Awesome. 
And yeah, and uh, Gunner's got company, so we better let him go. Yep. Thank hey, you. Man, thanks for thanks for doing the podcast. Yeah. Thanks for recording this podcast with me. <laughs> Thank you for also recording this podcast with me. Swingdom out. Swingdom out. It's loading. Hold on. Yeah, it's a delay. You've been listening to The Swingdom. Remember, we're just two guys. 28 clubs, zero putts given. Look, sorry, not sorry. It just it just it just happens. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs>